When you're negative, slap at the beard. I'm talking about guys. Usually guys do this. Muthatengo beri sa vasla pa ewan. Vasla pa thing is gonna wipe their face. It's gonna wipe their body. It's gonna wipe their nyesh. After that, it's gonna wipe their shoes, and then it's gonna wipe the the the. Can I again? A hefe zelo pumula windscreen gun. This is for those in Bogot. My mom apple juice on. <laughs> I'm gonna call it mommy apple juice, okay? Ain't nobody gonna judge me for this, okay? On this channel, we keeping it real. Cheers. I should have, I should have waited for that to, you know, cool down a little bit with the ice. Let me just. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, girl. You know I do this for you. But if you're new here, you're not late to this party because this party, my baby. Don't jump in. So welcome and thank you so much for being here. I really hope you stay. I hope you subscribe and hit that like button. Guys, um, the last time, I think I was like uh, on 200 and something subscribers. And now I'm on like over 400 subscribers. Guys, let me tell you again. I only know 30 people. I only know 30 people or less even. And um, that means this is my organic true subscribers. And I really appreciate you. And I thank you so much. As you can see, the girl has upgraded the quality of our content. <laughs> We're serving it premium over here, okay? So it just keeps getting better, right? Just stick beside me, just stick beside me. So today we're talking body skincare essentials. These are all the products that I use um, when it comes to my self-care or daily maintenance. So this is a Sunday afternoon. I'm trying to wind down. See, I'm a brown, I'm a brown juice girl. <laughs> so I just finished um, doing my self care routine. Now I just want to calm down and just, you know, um, just say goodbye to the weekend and get ready for the following week. So I decided to just make a quick video, just so that you guys can just have a little sneak peek at all the products that I use day to day, or just essentially for my self care. Disclaimer, I'm not a dermatologist. I am not a gynecologist. I'm not any type of ologist. I'm just a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a lady. I'm a female. I'm a woman. I'm delicate. I'm a flower. I'm soft. I'm just a beautiful woman. Beautiful black Nubian girl. This is just me. So this is girl, girl to girl advice. This is woman to woman advice. So please, um, I'm not a professional. If you want professional help, if you need professional uh, advice on your skin, on your girl, if you know what I mean, the flower, or anything else, go to a professional, go consult, go and you know do your research about yourself. It's very important to know what works for you. So this is just what I use and what I feel is good for me. Okay? Yeah. Done. Number one thing, when it comes to self-care, you don't have to like alcohol, but fix yourself one of your favorite drinks. It can be tea, it can be coffee if you like, it can be juice, it can be a nice mocktail for some of us. you know we have to get it there okay so get yourself a nice something nice liquid to drink you know a nice snack to snack on and then you're gonna set the mood you're gonna play your favorite songs in the speaker in the background and then you're gonna get yourself your favorite candle so we can have a nice scent going on you understand okay my my candle is actually almost <laughs> I make these myself. I'm still in the process, guys. Business coming up, all right? So get yourself one of your favorite candles and burn it. I feel like burning candles is 
um, just something a little more spiritual for me. Uh, it, it really sets the mood, it sets the ambiance. So get yourself your favorite candle and light that glow up. And now watch the magic about to unfold. And now get yourself all of these essentials that I'm about to talk about. So first of all, girls, we need to protect our crowns. We need to protect the hair. So when you protect the hair before you take a shower or before you take a bath, you need one of these, okay? And this one, not a bonnet. All right, I know girls just use a bonnet. Get this one. This is what up to this needs to protect your hair from getting wet all right a bonnet works yeah but it gets damp it gets wet this one just wipe it off and hang it somewhere this is specifically for a shower or for your bath all that steam that happens it gets on your hair so guys let's protect the crown all right second of all let's talk about are you a vaslap yelly vaslap do you understand me? I'm not gonna. I'm you. I don't want to see any girl using Vaslap at all. All right. But that thing like I have, I have like a one, and now I'm talking about guys. Usually guys do this. But that thing over like a Vaslap at all. Vaslap thing is gonna wipe their face. It's gonna wipe their body. It's gonna wipe their nyesh. After that, it's gonna wipe their shoes, and then it's gonna wipe the the the. Let's put it again. A hefe zelo pumula in screen good. Do you understand? No, when you get all right. One for the body, one for the face. Usually, I have a darker one for my body and a nice white or light one, it doesn't really matter what the color is, for my face. As long as you know it's solely for your face, this is for your body. I like Vaslava, but I don't trust it to completely take out all the dirt from my body. That's for like body. When I'm talking about it, I'm not talking for the face. For the face, you always need to use the most delicate tools, whatever. But you need to, it need to be nice and soft on your skin. You need to be very gentle. But this, I personally kind of feel like it will move the dirt all over my body. Guys, I have dry skin. I am pro exfoliation. So yeah, I'm gonna give a slap. Make sure we're gonna give a slap as a big have two washcloths okay one again one for your face one for the body all right so i usually use this for my face and for the body i will use it for my delicate areas if you know what i mean for the oil for the flower that's where i usually use like where i feel i wanna get that all off so now i have really dry skin I am pro exfoliation. I'm pro exfoliation. Like I believe in exfoliating. I exfoliate way more than I should. I feel so bad for saying this, but I really do. That the dermatologist will usually recommend you to exfoliate. I think about twice a week, if not less. But do not over exfoliate. That's what they will tell you. But me personally, I exfoliate damn near every day. Of my life because I use these tools every day so it's the exfoliating gloves I think this is a little more I don't know when they decided to Oopsie. Oopsie. I'm not sure when they decided to bring this into the market I don't remember but I started using this pretty late in my life before I use this I was this girl <laughs> I was this hand and I am still that girl like I still am guys um and I don't care you know I don't care I don't care I don't care judge me all you want I ain't that just know I don't care and I'm gonna continue to use it this is for those in Bogot for when you know to the tip of for Begazel and Tumbiam Begazel and Paz this will literally wash your all oh, your it will wash all your sins away. This and we usually pair it with this. <laughs> I 
I'm so serious. <laughs> but I grew up using this, okay? My mom made sure that this was in the bathroom every single time. This is what I used when I was growing up. This is before I even have like some, any sort of skincare regime. This is what I grew up using. And till this day, I still go back to it and I still use it. I think this is the reason why my skin feels so soft, like even today, like my skin is literally, it's like a baby skin. Like I, I grew up using that and at a later stage I started using this. All right, so it literally will scrub you clean. Like you will feel like you just grew a new, a new, layer of skin like it's perfect I, I, I I've used it all my life guys if you're not gonna buy the fruits and veggies at least buy the sack of oranges support who sell these things um, buy this I highly recommend just buy the sack of oranges if you know even if you know it's not seasonally orange buy this you're gonna thank me later. I don't care. Like I don't care. I don't care how how successful I am or how rich I will get. And I will still this will still be lurking somewhere in my house for just one of those days where I really wanna go back to my roots. Like this is where I come from, and uh, I will never let it go. I really won't. Um, so please uh, support Bo Mama Bali. Buy those oranges or cabbages or whatever it is, so that you can get this. But clap again and let me know tomorrow how you feel. Let me know how clean you feel after you wash yourself with this. So those are my exfoliating for my body. I don't use that on my face. Please don't use any of those exfoliating stuff on your face. There's a lot of conspiracies that come with this. Apparently it harbors a lot of germs. Apparently like, I don't know, it has all these bacteria. If you survived COVID, you'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine. This is for, it's more gentle on the skin. It's, this is more of a caress. This, this is more of a, if you want to feel like you are being bathed by a million soft kisses, this is where it's at. Okay, this you use, it glides all the product. It foams very nicely. It makes like such thick, beautiful foam it literally foams up either your soap or your uh, shower gel whatever you're using at the time it will foam it up and it's nice to lather yourself with this so this is mainly why i have it and i use it okay i will use i'm so embarrassed i'm so embarrassed i'm so embarrassed i'm so sorry but yes guys this is a dove soap I have to go shopping I really do but this shows you that I really use these things I use them until they're like <laughs> so yeah this is a Dove soap I use the original or the for sensitive skin one which is like a lightish yeah but anyway this is the Dove soap look at this carefully I'm sorry it has some stuff whatever look at this carefully it's not cracked this literally moisturizes your body. This helps us dry skin girlies. It will moisturize your body. Like, if you wanna see um, if a, a, a soap will dry up your skin, then you will tell by the cracks on it. Ain't no cracks on here. After I use my soap, then I will use the girls who know, no. I will use this queen. This is Lux. Sheer Twilight Floral Beauty Oil. Did you hear that? This goes with this for me. But sometimes I will also do this. That's when I'm in a rush. I do this. On top, guys, this is the girl she thinks she is. She smells amazing. She smells like flowers and a dream. Like she just, oh my god, guys, manana like hot chapa. So you can go hard, or hot chapa manana. One time, like it, you need to, like it needs to smell like warm winds and flowers. So stand have a slap and move to change. Like don't go okay. You know, like it, it mustn't be overwhelming to step in the shower when you're in it, or to 
you would just step in the bathroom when you're in it not that you should but if you know what I'm saying those mistakes happen when you walk in on someone showering or you or you walk in after someone's showering and then like you understand what I'm saying? Like I believe in this particular flavor. If not, there is I think Dove. Yeah, I think Dove. There's Dove. I sometimes use Dove. I sometimes use uh, Nivea. Is it Nivea? But I forgot which one. If it's Dove or Nivea, but it has the magnolia flavor and it has such a beautiful aroma. Like, oh gosh, if someone is just taking a shower with that, I would literally just sit there and and just <laughs> guys I highly believe in this Nivea rich care shower oil if you're not here yet then go where you at this I use after I use all of my soaps and gels and you know I use this shower oil to lather my skin. I lather my skin with it while my skin is nice and damp so that it can actually absorb this product. Guys, I love this product. <laughs> like, my skin hasn't felt dry in such a long time because I take this dip, okay? You will literally, um, you will, <laughs> Moisturize your skin with this generously while you're in the shower. Moisturize while you're in the shower with this generously. Then afterwards, this is very important. Rinse this off. Okay? You rinse it off. Read the instructions. Whatever product you get, read the instructions and use it exactly how they say you should. Alright, so this you will lather your whole body with this and then rinse it right off. Okay, you will feel a nice soft supple moisturized hydrated skin right after this guys this has been a game changer for me i absolutely love this product like i can't live without it and to show that it's such a good product you barely find this in the stores guys this is always sold out people are buying the crap out of this like when i went to buy this there was only two of them left and look how tiny this bottle is it's a 200 ml so guys, if I didn't put you on anything, this is it. Okay, I'm putting you on right now. Write this down. A bath foam, guys. If this doesn't create the absolute perfect ambiance for self-care, then I don't know what does. This is the set to skin uh, moisturizing cocoa butter um, bubble bath. I love this so much. I love this flavor as well. I haven't tried many other flavors. That's because I am pro um, cocoa butter. Anything with cocoa butter in it, I'm taking it. So this is it. Um, I love this product so much. It actually, um, it does moisturize, I believe it, because the water feels like it has nice little drops of oil in it that will leave your skin very soft and luxurious like ugh. I love it I love this product uh, I highly recommend it. Oh! <laughs> I've poured this all over the room oh, did get in my drink? <laughs> anyway I use this Epsom salt. This is Nature's Nourishment, uh, Nature's Nourishment Epsom salt, the relaxing soak. Um, this helps soothe aches and pains, aromas to relax, body promoting better night sleep. I absolutely agree. Um, after I use this, after a long, stressful, exhausting day, guys, when I pull this into my bath. I will it literally relaxes all my muscles or oh, after like a long day at gym it will relax your muscles you will feel like you're floating on a cloud guys the substitute for this I also use dr. Teal's and sometimes I like the eucalyptus flavor 
um, I like the eucalyptus flavor um, specifically for when I feel a little bit bluish that's the flavor I use it's the one in the green that has a more of a green packet I love it I, I, I live by it um, Epsom salt is also good to soak your feet in speaking of soaking up the feet if you're gonna do a, a feet soak or whatever guys it's important to scrub your heels okay and I'm talking to myself when I'm seeing this girl scrub them heels guys when you have dry skin you also have really dry heels and it's not a good look when you're a girl it's not a good look when you're a girl like by the time i had such an embarrassing moment guys i was at um the nail appointment i was at a nail appointment and there was like a girl next to me and a girl next to me over here then i look at the girl on my right i don't know automatically i always look at feet like feet when I first meet you, I'll go to your feet, then I'll look at your face. I don't know why it's such a bad habit, but I do. I do. So I looked at the girl feet, and she had one of the most beautiful heels I've ever seen. I'm not talking about shoes. I'm talking about the heel. Serrate, stand. I think that's a zoom, whatever. But I was looking at that girl heel, and it was absolutely clean it was moisturized it looked soft it was nice and pink go to our warner hurry this girl actually takes really good care of her feet and then i looked at mine because yeah my heels are not cracked thank god they're not but they were dry brah they were dry dog i was so embarrassed brah i think i spent about a week without scrubbing my feet I will literally just graze my feet with these or this and I'd call it a day that's because I'd be like showering in a in a haste or whatever but yo gosh did I not regret it it was the most embarrassing moment I've experienced in a very long time because now I was in a position where you know when you're getting your nails done you're, you, you're there and you better pray to God that our para a Descendly. and that day I was wearing Crocs so you could see my heels and they were not looking good I was so embarrassed so I never want to see that happen to me again so um, this is the, usually what I use I am so embarrassed it has a look at that the white is so on it <laughs> it's not my dead skin <laughs> anyway I need to replace this um, but I use this on my heels after I use this I will lather my heels in oil or in Vaseline this is very important I always have this guys you should always have Vaseline for whatever reason you need it but this is essential this must be in your home all the time like I use this quite generously it's almost done it's almost done so yeah yeah I absolutely love this is the sorbet body scrub firming you see it will scrub and tone your body i actually bought this after my pregnancy um because i felt like i need to get any product that has anything to do with toning or firming <laughs> for obvious reasons i absolutely love it it smells amazing it's almost done i'm always using it i usually i usually like it in my shower or in my bath this another exfoliating thing i have guys i over exfoliate don't be like me this oil guys i get this at pip i think this was about 60 rand i think so this is the bromley sheer butter tissue oil i like to use this in the evening one of the tricks to staying youthful looking is to always moisturize and this is what I do in the nighttime. I use this on my face and on my body. It absolutely hydrates my skin. I also use it on my heels. My heels will look like baby feet by tomorrow. Once I put this on my heels and I put some nice thick socks or Vaseline on my heels and thick socks in the morning, my heels was, was gonna look absolutely. Um, product that I use is this Vaseline Intensive K body cream 
I like it because it's nice and rich. It's absolutely amazing. See? Uh, I like it. It, it, it. It's When they say intensive care, they really mean it. Like when you have dry skin, you really need products to feel like they have soaked into your skin and not feel like they're just floating on surface. So this really does the trick for me. It will keep me moisturized the whole day. My husband uses this as well. Me and him, this will always be in our household like this. We highly trust and believe. Trust, tested and approved. Uh, a little side topic. This is a, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get in too much detail when it comes to shaving. But I usually like to incorporate shaving in my um, self-care routine, which is something I do at least once a week. Um, guys, I've had such horrible experiences when it comes to removing my body hair. If Please don't come in my comments and talk about waxing unless I go professional guys I really I'm struggling I cannot wax myself I don't care if it's sugar waxing or strip waxing especially strip waxing I have terrible experience with that there was one time I tried I bought the strips those waxing strips ne? I was very sure that I was gonna see my flower right at the palm of my hand after I ripped that strip off me yo and I couldn't scream because it was like 10 in the evening and I was doing my self care 10 in the evening in my parents house, in my mom's house, in my dad house. And I didn't want to wake them. Can you imagine ripping that thing off and trying not to scream? Once I was done ripping that thing off, there was only three hairs on the strip. Mind you, after I removed the first strip, there was still the other strip that I had to remove. I nearly lost my cat that day. I'm sure of it, guys. And I never want to experience that again. So ever since that day, I decided to just go with um, shaving creams. I've been experimenting. I had a terrible experience with this other product. I, can't, I don't, I don't want to main drop. But anyway, this is the latest thing that I'm using. I literally used it two days ago. I didn't burn. I didn't burn, guys. It, uh, yeah, it wasn't bad at all. It didn't remove everything, but it really did a really good job. I think, I, I let me just put it that way, it did a really good job. Um, if you're having a really thick, a really thick bushy, color hardly does it going on I will highly recommend that you trim first and then use this product um, but I really had a, a I think a decent experience with this I am very keen to use it again um, I usually start um, testing this out on my armpits I must say guys my armpits are my biggest flex <laughs> if it's anything that I can brag about when it comes to my body have the, the, the most clean the most pretty looking armpits like guys look at that Nivea shield Mitchum please I'm the girl this is this is where it's at like I think I'm like it doesn't have dark patches um I don't have ingrowns um but yeah this is more naturally for me like naturally um I don't grow much hair on my armpits and I want to thank my mommy for this I literally would spend a month without shaving you wouldn't know you wouldn't tell but um, you will never catch me with hair on my armpits never <laughs> talking about the flower um, usually just water will suffice when you're gonna wash your kitty girl usually water is more than enough but um, if you just want to go the extra mile this is what I use Gyna God um, this is the Gyna God the pink one this it comes in the pink and the green I forgot what the green one does I think it's more uh, focused on the pH balance but this one also 
focuses on the pH balance but also your everyday odor control. I really like it. I use this on my labia. Not inside guys, please. I use this on my labia. Um, and a mover. <laughs> Um, but it leaves me feeling very fresh, very clean, and I really do feel like I scrubbed up. Okay. Um, we have sunscreen. This is the Derm Opal Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 50. Um, if memory serves me correctly, I bought this for 180 at Diskim. I absolutely think it's. I really think it's within price range. Um, I do like it. I use this on my face and my hands. It's very important. Apparently, um, sunscreen really helps with anti-aging. So the more you use sunscreen, the younger you will look. So the earlier, the better. I highly recommend sunscreen. And I really thank my subbies for putting me on sunscreen. I really wasn't much of a sunscreen girl, but they put me on sunscreen. Um, and I haven't looked back ever since. So, guys, this is where it's at. And then for lip care or, you know, my lip maintenance, I use the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This is so hard for me to call it a cream because it, it, feel, it looks more of an ointment. Let's see. Yeah, I use this on my lips every day it helps me with chapped lips it it also helps with burn wounds i i recently just got a burn scar on my knee and i'm actually applying this on the scar every single day and it's peeling off very nicely and my skin is repairing so good i love a multi-purpose um product I wish i had more of these i want to have one in my bag i want to have one on the side table on my uh in, on my bedside i want to have one in the kitchen i want to have one in the bathroom i want to have one in my man's car like i need this every single wear i highly believe in this product i use it on my lips all the time like I, literally this is my most favorite product i will like in the desert please bring me this bring me water bring me this it's this or that. It's this or that. This I use, I think, almost every day. And like every day. I use this one. This is my go to. This every day. This is the Shield Dry Confidence Anti Perspirant. Um, I love it. Um, I, I feel dry. It literally will leave your armpits feeling dry. I like this one because I, I feel like it dries. Faster. So when I'm wearing something delicate, um, like a silk uh, material, then I will put this on so that I don't have the lines going on. So it's this or that. I love this. It smells good. Um, I got this. Um, I, my sister put me on this one because one time I visited her and I didn't have my stuff. So I used this. Uh, she happens to use this and I used this hers <laughs> luckily you can share this i get it you just it's a spray it's not this where you directly apply it so it's a spray i loved it um i don't know what it is about postpartum but after after i gave birth to my son my body odor literally just hit the roof like oh my gosh it was i, I felt so potent i don't know if it's just in my head but i felt so potent where i literally used both of these I would use this one first and finish off with this one. You can finish off your favorite um, body mist or your favorite perfume, whatever you like. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if, please hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. You will get more content from me. As you can see, this video is a brand new quality. So we are serving it's a brand new quality so we are serving premium content on this page so guys thank you so much i hope to see you again in my next video stay tuned and grow with me love you so much for watching Mwah.